Hello everyone, welcome back again with AutoCAD basic floor plan tutorial for exercise number 2. First, uh, in here I will quad line start from this point to the bottom. We can set into 6000, move uh, to drag into 3000, and move to the top uh, 6000. Click at this point to connect. The next, uh, you can use copy command to copy this line objects. You can move to the bottom here. I will set into 1500 and copy again this line to the left into 1250. Okay, use trim command to cut uh, this line objects. I will use a uh, copy again to copy this uh, all objects to the right here and the next I will uh, delete uh, this line object use a uh, copy command to copy this objects to the bottom we can set with distance into 3000 and now in here I will uh, use a join command to combine uh, these uh, objects they okay, also combine in here and you can press enter so it will be combined into polyline objects use offset command with offset distance 150 you can offset uh, these objects inside also in here and next i will offset with offset distance 75 click this objects click at this point okay and also in here the next you can select middle line and press the delete button okay in it we can use a trim command you can tap PR and we can cut at this point also in here and then at this point the next in here now we already create uh, this uh, simple sketch and the next uh, we can attach block into this uh, four plans you can use uh, these tools you can insert for stair okay, i will click at this point and the second this uh, objects okay so in this uh, for the top you can uh, move this object from this point into here by the way you can get this block from uh, download link in uh, below a uh, description in video and in it i will create a line or you can uh, copy these objects to the top you can set into 700 and now create line start from this point to this point use a trim command to cut in here okay also i will cut at uh, this line object In here we can extend okay cut at this point and then we can create line start from this point into here use a trim command again we can cut at this point okay this enough and now you can use offset command with offset this 10 150 still offset these objects to the top also in it and then we can fillet with radius zero okay to connect between these two lines and also you can trim in it okay this for uh, the second floor this for the first floor in here you can create a line or you can move this object okay into this point middle point and then move to the bottom 75 Okay. The next, uh, I will insert for door. You can click here, door, and you can click at this point. You can use a rotate command to rotate this object. Start from this point. I will use copy option. You can press C to copy, and you can click again. The next, use move tools to move uh, this object from this point into here. Okay, you can move again this object from this point into this point. 
for the next uh, door we can use uh, this tools door door uh, for a bedroom okay we can move this object into here okay use a uh, trim command to cut uh, this line also we can cut in here the next i will cut at this point okay we already attached for door for the next block i will attach window use this tool to set a window in here okay, i will move into a center point okay move again from this point into here you also can uh, copy these objects from this point into here okay the next is set into sofa shape I will click at this point for sofa shape okay now in here we can set into a dining table we can set in here for dining table the next for TV we can set at this point TV and kitchen seat click at this point okay so then we can uh, edit for uh, this kitchen we can double click click in here click ok and now I will uh, edit at this point Okay, you can move to the bottom. The next in here, we can click and move again to this point. You can click close and click save the change to the kitchen seat. Now we can move these objects into this point. Okay, the next for block, I will set toilet in here. This for toilet and cupboard i will set at this point for bed we can set in here this for the second floor and the first floor i will create line in it to connect also at this point the next uh, i will create layer you can tap layer and in here we can create new and I will set them into black you can select in transparency I will set into 70 for transparency the next you can select uh, this uh, old furniture okay and also in here we can set layers into block you can right click uh, click a uh, properties and for layer in here i will set into block so it will be height i also can select at this objects click again in here block this is for transparency and now to insert text you can tap m text i will click at this point and we can set name into kitchen Okay, you can select uh, these text objects and change for text uh, height. Okay, you can click here. Text height I will set into 150. This for 150. The next you can copy these objects. You can set into here. 1, 2, 3, and then this 4. The next in here. 5 and then six you can set the name into open below to below you can set into a center point by clicking uh, this uh, option you move into center the next in here i will set into bedroom Okay, in here for toilet, 
the kitchen and this is for dining and in here for living okay you can delete uh, these text objects I will uh, use hatch command to create hatch the next for scale we can set into 20 use uh, NC31 for pattern and for color in it I will set into this color the next you can use pick point you can select at this point also in here you can select okay at this point and for the second floor now you can press D to open a dimension style manager I will use annotative click set current click modify and for frame units we can set into zero for precision text in here I will set text into yellow this for text and in here particularly I will set into center click a symbol arrows you can set change into architectural tick and for lines I will set into red color the next you can click OK and click uh, set current to use uh, this annotative click close in here we can change scale into 150 so we can use a scale in it 150 and you can tap dim line to create a dimension linear you can create from this point to here okay create again from this point and in here we can use m2p option you can press this button right click and choose a bit between two points take from this point into here Okay, move into this point and next from this point into here okay you can click up this corner point into corner point again in here you can select uh, this uh, dimension line and we can move these points into here okay in the top here you can use a uh, dim line again dimension linear we can use mid between two points can click in here and also at this point click again from this point into here and now in the corner to the top in here you can select uh, this dimension and we can move the point and the next in the left here with uh, dimension linear command to create a dimension Okay, in the next uh, floor plans, this for the second floor, you can create again from this point into here. Okay, and then from this point, we can use M2P mid between two point. And now from this point into here. We connect from this point into this point. Okay, and in here, in the top, the next in the right here, click from this point into corner point. And the last from this corner point into this point. Okay. Now we already create this uh, simple 2D floor plan 